Hey, welcome to the Mad Witch Cottage and I thought I would just start to do some quick walkthroughs of the lovely things I've been gifted for my birthday. Yes, a lot of them uh, have been around longer and some of them are newer. Um, there are lots of walkthroughs. The reason I'm doing walkthroughs mainly because um, I think sometimes if you're looking at a specific deck, you tend to want to watch as many walkthroughs as you can and um, everyone has a slightly different opinion or way of doing things so I'm starting with the beautiful decks that I was gifted by um, uh, my little bro Cy, Simon from the Hermit's Cave and um, I've seen these around a lot and I often see them on a, um, a lovely lady's channel on Instagram Gail um, and I always liked the artwork, but I'd, I'd never got the decks. And I remember seeing them the time before last in Glastonbury. And um, I uh, I thought, oh, I, I do like those, actually. But I, I hadn't purchased them. They're a rock pool. They come in these really nice, um, I don't know what the technical terms are for these. But it's got, a, it, it feels quality let's put it that way um it's a very it's a very moody day outside we're still in september but it feels uh, it's quite dark um it's like it's waiting to to rain or something i like the insides um i like the way they're done this is the book that comes with them i know that simon said he had put his two together I might not do that just at the moment. I hope these aren't going to be too shiny because I think I'm going to take the goddess dream into the bedroom and the goddess love will stay on my altar. I'm really loving my altar space at the moment. Um, I did just pop an Instagram uh, post up of my... Uh, I picked some of my flowers from the garden. I grow flowers for the bees and the insects and I... I try not to pick them but occasionally um now especially now we're getting into the later um of september weeks i picked a few and i was really pleased with it lovely on the altar so uh anyway so this is the deck this is the one that i actually pulled this morning and um i have to say that it was a very potent message that I got this morning. Um, so this card uh, says, it's number 16, it's your life is a sacred gift. Um, the artwork is so Glastonbury. Um, there was another lady whose pictures we saw in, in Covenstead that I liked, but this has just got all the right vibes and it, it really looks um, perfect on the altar. So they're not in order. But I just thought it would be nice just to share these images with you. At first, I'd sort of thought, oh, this feels quite wintry. This feels quite autumnal. But actually, when you look at the images um, in, you know, individually, they're kind of, they are seasonal, but they're all across the board. Very winter scene. Um, I love badgers. I love all, I love hares. I love owls. I love, um, all my fox i mean there's look you know we have a resident fox who we love and feed uh breakfast lunch and dinner sometimes he's very much a part of my life and we adore him and i just these colors i know we're moving into the autumn months sorry i probably need to let's just be a bit more professional ha <laughs> there's a silly word to use around me <laughs> um but i don't want to keep but i'm just the, the colors are just rich and um autumnal and they they feel amazing and there's something very calming about the images but actually when i read the uh, message for this particular card i really felt that um it, it really tapped in beautifully to what i needed to hear um this morning oops me turning them over oh look at the siren um 
so we've got goddesses in here as well i don't i really don't know very much about the deck i only know that i liked i kept seeing the artwork and i kept thinking i really like this um i will have a quick look in the book in a minute and just see how what it says about her it, interesting for me the artwork is is quite varied you know normally an artist you would see has the same style which is what mostly her pictures are like this but that is very different to me um i think these cards have really touched my my uh my goddess centric self and have brought a lot of um the the crumbs that i've been following and will be continuing to work with has really come together with this so if you've watched any of my vlogging um you will have seen that i've started a journey with ellen of the ways it started away a while back i've got uh, my lovely philippa bowes uh lady of the greenwood and lord of the wildwood on my altar with the guy and goddess and um the breadcrumbs have been strong and consistent and this deck feels a perfect uh, addition to that practice and I'm really falling into this imagery and enjoying it. Um, I have a few, I've noticed that my, I mean I keep saying I, I want to um, remove some of my decks from my collection and I have a trolley which I will do a video of I think eventually um and there's certain ones that just never leave that trolley and i think this will be it the fact that it was a gift from simon does you know if i buy something in glastonbury and i do buy things in glastonbury and i do value the gifts that i'm given by my friends and um and my family obviously but when it's a gift it holds a very special place and i never part with anything that's gifted to me and when i buy something like i bought as i said the spirit wing um deck in chalice well that immediately takes me back there and this deck will immediately take me back to glastonbury and it is a strong link to my uh dear friend um simon and you know we we've built up a, a friendship over six years we've only managed to meet up when we very first got to know each other in glastonbury um so when i look at this deck i'm just going to remember glastonbury because it has those connections and I think that's just beautiful. So I don't just quickly see um, the book does uh, have the let's just come over a wee bit because I'm stretching a bit. There we go. Um, the book does. When was it first published? I never know. 2021 how to use the cards then it shows you all the cards um and here she talks about uh, introducing herself <clears throat> and she's an artist dream and love of the goddess in her loving spirit that runs through us all joining our hands together and linking our hearts through these cards i hope you will feel her love in those times when you feel disconnected alone or unloved let her guide you back into the flow of un her unconditional love. Um, it's so it goes through a few different spreads. Then the cards. Oh, there she is. Look, there's Wendy Andrews. And here it is. Wendy Andrews lives, dreams and paints. South of England, surrounded by beautiful countryside and ancient woodlands. Her artwork is, in, is inspired and guided by a driving force of divine fem feminine. She has been painting for almost all her life, having been encouraged from a very young age by her artist father. Wendy's spiritual quest has taken her along innumerable paths and after many years of searching it was in nature that she heard goddess speaking 
a whispering, sorry, in the wind and vibrating through the land, saying, Here I am, feel me in the turning of the seasons. I am maiden of spring, mother of summer, crone of winter. I am death and I am rebirth. I am you and you are me. From the time of Wendy, from that time on, Wendy has sought to share her love of goddess through her painting and writing. Uh, so, and the, the other deck is the Dream Oracle. I really do think that um, getting to know the artist um, and obviously it must be her words as well, unless I've missed something, which I, I don't think so. I think it's entirely hers. Um, does say edited by Lisa Macken, but I'm not, I think it's all her. But anyway, so that's that deck. I'm going to keep that card out because um, I'm, I'm going to be working with this deck. And the, the words that came with that card were very special for me and very, um, very on point. This is the other one. Different backs. I love these backs. I, I, I think they are very lovely together. And um, I, I'm just spoiled rotten to have them, you know. And uh, there's the first card. I haven't worked with this one yet. But I imagine it's all pretty much the same in size. So we still have the exact same layout. And this deck was 2019. So these are the images. Um, oh, isn't that beautiful? Foxes. The animal kingdom features so well in here. There are some lovely Celtic decks out, out there. But this, as a goddess deck, really hit the heart. Hit, hit me on lots of levels. I've got some beautiful art decks. I have, um, and I feel very excited to have started this new phase in my life. Sixty is a very odd. It feels old to me. It does. But um, it also feels like a new journey, a new path, and. Um, it's time to just play and enjoy each and every moment. And that's kind of a lot of what the the card message was today and journeying within. And I am really loving this artwork. Um, I will have to check her website out and um, possibly buy some of her art. Um, I look, the colours, you know, from a a sewer's point of view as well and, and uh, doing embroidery and just you know enjoying sewing different um, different things now that appeal to me in my spiritual practice I really love this deck again it just appeals to me I don't know how the art is created I imagine they are paintings I'm not sure whether it, it really um, I think it was, I don't think they said what media it was, but can you imagine, I, I can't imagine being that clever. Look, how to draw hairs, I struggle with animals, I can't, I can't draw animals so that I can sew them, I'm really bad. I did the Beatrix Potter ones though, better than I expected. Their faces are so beautiful, so serene, and they just fit so well very different though um very talented lady so i thought it will just be a question of little quick walkthroughs but as as oracle decks um and i have some nice oracle decks but these have kind of just picked the top ones I do love the solitary witch and I do love the sacred destiny um, and I have others too that I haven't, uh, I can't remember, I 
keep saying I'm going to pull one a day and then I and then I get distracted and I don't and I it's we're now into autumn and I've got to get out in the garden I love that in that is beautiful well that's it guys that was my quick walkthrough of these lovely decks which I'm sure um, you've seen but it's nice to to just share um, them again because I actually love them so much I think I'm going to be one of those you know people that just wants anything she creates thank you for watching bye bye